Hey everybody, this is John and welcome to the free video. This chart really doesn't do today justice. It, it just seemed a lot more uh, negative than this, but ultimately the cues ended up almost unchanged on the day. We continue to hold support. When this consolidation happens near the upper end of a range, it is most it is typically a continuation pattern. Now, the squeeze has run its course. At this point, I'm not expecting a huge move higher, but could we grind into 10207? And the answer is absolutely yes. And you know, from there we'll see. I mean, we all know that we're coming into October, and that's typically when we sell off. But it would make sense to grind into that overhead resistance level, especially with the patterns that we're seeing here. And then also with the yen. I mean, the yen is just getting destroyed here. And the yen going down, I mean, the stock market actually might be selling off here if it wasn't for the yen, but the yen going down is, is definitely helping the stock market. And then if we look at IWM, IWM actually did a complete reversal today. It was strong all day and could ironically lead this market higher when it's actually been showing the most red flags. For positions that we got for tomorrow, in terms of weekly positions, Baidu, got a couple that are just right here on the cusp. So for Baidu, Sold the 220 puts, and you can see we're just right there at the cusp. cusp. So it's going to make tomorrow interesting. For Tesla, sold the 280 puts. We're going to be right there on the cusp tomorrow. And for Netflix, sold the 480 puts. So all of these have been trading sideways, but for these puts that we've sold, they're doing fine, but tomorrow just could be a mess if for some reason you know the markets and these stocks gap down. Usually... On expiration Friday, it's kind of choppy to up. So we'll know a lot more tomorrow. And then from uh, the scanner, uh, one of the things that's popped up here is FSLR. This is the, uh, and I love this setup here. And this is one that I want to be taking advantage of. And just a reminder on Saturday, I'm gonna be doing the weekly options class. One of the things we'll be talking about are fat tire events how to identify them and how to play them. Uh, those can be some of the most amazing trades if you know what you're looking for, similar to GoPro. How to play gap plays with weekly options. Gaps offer a ton of unique opportunities. You wanna be able to identify if it's a gap and go or a gap and crap and take your positions accordingly, specifically before the market with limit orders. In addition to that, I'm gonna be talking about how to protect your portfolio and your trades, show you specific examples of that. How to hedge, if you've got all your positions and all of a sudden the markets are doing something kind of crazy, it can be hard to close out or make adjustments on 15 or 20 positions. How do you deal with that? You hedge and you've gotta know what to do and how many contracts to do to offset your portfolio. And then of course, how to adjust and defend. You know, if you've got your original trade getting in a little bit of hot water, what do you do and when do you do it? In this case, trade is a profitable trade because of the adjustment and the defense measures put in place. And also too, a fun one to do with weekly options is what I call the no-lose trades. And if you look at this PL graph here, the max loss on this trade is plus $330 and the upside is unlimited. Okay, and that's a really cool setup, and I'll be talking about that this Saturday. So that'll be this Saturday, the 13th. I'm gonna discuss the filters, scans, and alerts I use to find these trades, defend these trades, hedge these trades, play gaps, and set up no-risk trades. Also discuss the specific times I will step in and take advantage of a fat tire event geared for maximum reward and minimal risk, and I will cover trade management and position sizing for both initial positions as well as adjustments and defense. Now, one question I've been getting a lot is, is this mostly gonna be on index trades? And the answer is no. Boring index trades where you see trying to get a five cent credit for a spider call is not what this class is about. I'm gonna show you one aggressive trade on SPX and NDX and that will take about 12 minutes. And what about ETFs? Uh, for the purposes of this class, that's a big no, okay? These, this is, we're looking for premium and fat tire events. That is not something that ETFs are known for. 
Specifically, I'm focusing on a select group of stocks that I want to see that are net percent a Average daily change is a greater percentage than net percent average daily change of the S&P 500, premium that reflects uncertainty, and a multitude of strike prices. Those are the best candidates for these weekly option trades. So for this class, there are two ways to go about it. One is a Saturday class where I'm going to go over everything I just showed you in the slides. And you can go through here and if you go to simpleroptions.com forward slash weekly, you'll see all the different things and the step-by-step -step, uh, guidelines I'll be using for the Saturday class. And then if you're also interested in three days of live trading, we're going to be going through here and uh, focusing a lot on position sizing, real life defending, and a ton of psychology stuff. We're not going to have time to go over the psychology stuff in the Saturday class, so we'll be doing that all during the three day. And that is a make or break for most traders. If you scroll down to the bottom, you'll see that the Saturday class, if you're getting this video, you can still sign up for the Saturday class at the early bird price of $497. And if you're interested in all the live events and the three-day mentoring, it's kind of a more where you can actually sit there and ask a lot more questions because it's a much smaller group, but also really diving into the psychology piece and a lot of presentations that are not included in the Saturday class, this will be $997. And again, if you're seeing this, if you sign up for the $997, this is included, okay? And again, you don't, even though it's during market hours, you don't have to be there live. You can go back and review it. That tends to be what I found in these classes that the Saturday is great for identifying like, wow, here's all these new setups and strategies and theories, but it really comes home to roost and it really comes together when bringing in the psychology piece along with the live trading during the three-day class. All right, hope it helps. You guys have a great evening and we'll see you at the next up.